Hello, and welcome to our lesson on Precision DAX. In this video, we will look at digital feed-through and how to stop it. It's possible that you have seen this kind of behavior right before your DAC transitions. So what is this noise before the transition? It's digital feed-through. This can come from two places, through the device and through the board. The specification for digital feed-through is included in the device data sheet, and you should expect to see that behavior for every code transition. A designer has significantly less control over the device feed-through in comparison to board feed-through. So the question now becomes, how do we fix it? Let's look at the first solution. Keep the digital lines away from the analog lines. At the very least, try to limit digital traces running in parallel to analog traces. Often, this is a problem that goes unnoticed until evaluating the finished board, so remember to use good layout practices right from the start. Moving the layout around on the second revision board is not always that easy, so starting with good layout is always key. The example on the left keeps the digital signals away from the analog signals, which is a great start. The example on the right, however, has the VREF traveling parallel to the S clock line. This can cause very large amounts of coupling, so try to stay away from this. Remember, mitigation of digital feed-through starts with the layout. Other than layout, the major source of digital feed-through will be fast digital edges. The faster the edges, the more prominently they feed through the output. You can use an RC to filter down the signals, or just an R to limit the current injection into the pin. These solutions will improve digital feed-through significantly. Thank you for watching this video on digital feed-through in Precision DAX. Please watch our other videos on Precision DAX or go to ti.com slash precision DAC to learn more.